Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash, or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you become part of our makeup family, so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. We are still celebrating Love Fest Week here in my beauty stash. This is a now going to become a yearly series where the week leading up to Valentine's Day, I post a video every single day, something having to do with ranking favorite makeup, full face uh, of my favorite drugstore makeup, indie makeup, just makeup that I genuinely love. And today's video is definitely no different. I told you guys that my next top 10 palettes in whatever shade category was going to be neutrals. And that is exactly what we're doing today. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you the 10 best neutral palettes currently in my stash and I have to admit this was not easy. I had narrowed it down to maybe like 15 and then I'm like no I want to just keep it at 10. No honorable mentions just 10. So this was hard. Now I think a lot of palettes at their core are neutral because neutrals are blacks, grays, browns, taupes, green believe it or not green is a neutral um, but you're gonna see a lot of the palettes that I'm showing you are definitely neutral they might have a pop of green or they might have a pop of blue but at the end of the day they started as a neutral palette and I consider them neutral at least for me you guys know I love colorful makeup um, but we're focusing on neutrals today, and as I usually do in these videos, I did film this look right here. It's gonna be a quick little look. I'll just play some music, and you can see how I achieved this look. And this look was accomplished using one of the palettes featured in today's video. So if you guys wanna see the top 10 best neutral eyeshadow palettes currently in Steph's Beauty Stash, keep on watching. Okay, let's start first with a palette that I take with me on every trip. I go on and I take it because it is that neutral palette that I can rely on. It's also incredibly small, easy to travel with, and it just never disappoints. And I'm talking about the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this palette for so, so long and I've used it so often and it just keeps hanging in there. And thank God it hasn't broken. This palette has definitely been on a few plane rides, many different car rides, and it just keeps hanging in there. This is such an easy palette to use. I love that we get the three shimmers and we get the perfect two matte shades, one for the crease and then one darker to deepen up the outer corner to smoke out the lower lash line. Perfect. Perfection from Natasha Denona. If you have never tried a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette and maybe you don't want to make the $65 or $125 investment that some of her larger palettes are, start with her mini palettes. And if this is a color story that appeals to you, if you just need something neutral in your stash and you want to try some Natasha Denona, mini nude right here is a great place to start. And guys, I forgot to mention this. These palettes are in no particular order. They're just 10. They're just 10 best palettes. Moving on to my next palette, it's actually two palettes because they came out with a light to medium and then a medium to deep in these two palettes. And I'm talking about these from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin collaboration. So this palette right here is the one for fair skin. And in this palette, you do get four shadows. You get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Perfect. Everything you need for on-the-go makeup is right here. I love the packaging. It's a nice, like, pretty sturdy, clear plastic packaging. And then I love the tones of this. I mean, these palettes, I think they were like $15 or $16 each. Unfortunately, they are no longer available. I mean, you might be able to find some floating around on Amazon or eBay. Um, but these were incredible. They did a really good job with that Jen Atkin collaboration. There are several pieces including the setting spray, which I still use quite a bit. 
Um, but these were definitely the standout for me from that collection. Let me go ahead and show you what the uh, one for deeper skin tones looks like. It is right here. I use them both. I use them both. I interchange them. Um, I, I was able to make them work. For this shimmer shade, this highlighter shade in the deeper tone palette, I tend to use this more on my eyelids versus as an actual highlighter because this is the only shade that no doesn't necessarily work on my skin tone as a highlighter, but everything else in both palettes amazing quality elf and jen atkin did a fantastic job with these and let me know if you still have these if you have these in your stash these came out almost a year ago and i have been enjoying them i remember in my review video where i created looks using these i mentioned that these would be great to use on your wedding day or maybe if you were going to be in a wedding or maybe you are the bride and you wanted to give a gift to your bridesmaids. I mentioned that these would be perfect for that and I stand by the statement because these were really good palettes from e.l.f. and Jen Atkins. Next up is a fairly new palette to my stash but it has already climbed to the top of my favorites list and I'm talking about Chic Neutral from Colored Rain. This palette blew me away. There were six of these little six pan palettes in the Chic collection from Colored Rain and I did do a look using all six palettes. I will have corresponding videos linked up above as well as in the description box in case you wanna check any of these out. I don't know that I have looks with all of the palettes but the majority of them I do and I know I have one with this one. The formula on this is incredible. This is a very solid, a very pretty neutral palette. It retails for $16. I believe it is still in stock right now. You can buy the full collection for $63 or you can just get one for $16. Guys, you get three shimmers and you get three mattes. Light, medium, deep in the mattes. Perfection. Perfection. Transition, crease, outer corner, or you wear it however you want to wear it. The shimmers are spectacular beautiful. I do recommend either doing your eyes first or laying down some setting powder or definitely use some glitter glue with the shimmers because I did get a little bit of fallout from them. Nothing from the mattes. But for the shimmers, you definitely want to be careful because you will get a little bit of fallout. But trust me, this palette is so beautiful. It's definitely one that you need to add to your stash. Next up, we have a fairly new to me indie makeup brand. And I'm talking about Game Beauty. This palette blew me away. I, first and foremost, the packaging and Game Beauty is inspired by video games. So if you love playing video games, then this might be a brand that you need to check out. This is a victory palette and I love the way it opens up. And I know this isn't like the most unique color story, but get this on your eyes and oh my gosh, the quality of the mattes and then the beautiful shimmer shades. I mean, the looks that you can achieve with this palette, I was just stunned. I have already created about three looks with this one. I know one I filmed. I'm pretty sure I filmed it. Um, I'll have to look for it, but I know I featured this palette or maybe I didn't film it, but I was just wearing the eye look. I really, I don't remember, but I know there's a couple of pictures with me either on my Instagram or a couple of videos here on YouTube with me wearing this palette. I loved it. I loved it. The blue green shades are perfect, perfect for these rusty tone shades. Um, I thought this was a really solid palette, the Victory palette from Gain Beauty. I do have a couple more of their palettes that I've really been enjoying, but this one so far has been my favorite and it's definitely the most neutral out of the ones that I have. Um, I was given a code. I was given a code by Gain Beauty. It is a uh, Steph 10. I'll have it. It's always in the description box. Definitely check the description box um, of all my videos so you can see codes and, and affiliate links and stuff like that. All of that just comes back to help me support the channel. So I thank all of you who do shop through my affiliate links and you use my codes. It really does help me and the channel out quite a bit. And if you're wanting to try Game Beauty, I would definitely start with this Victory palette. Okay, so next we have what could likely be the oldest neutral palette in this top 10 list. And this is a palette that I think is going to make or has made a lot of your top 10 neutral palette lists. And I'm talking about Naked Honey from Urban Decay. 
By far, I think this has been the best naked palette to date. To date. There was just something so special about this formula. I loved it. I loved working with it. I would say the Wild West palette comes in a very close second, but since we're talking about neutrals, I definitely had to pull in the Honey palette, and I think the quality is just a smidge better. Just a smidge better than the Wild West palette is. This was just a very, very solid palette. If you wanted to do something more subtle, you could definitely achieve that with this palette. If you wanted to do something a bit more bold, then definitely apply some of those gold shades and deepen up the outer corner with this matte over here. Even though this is a neutral palette, you can definitely create a lot of fun looks with it. I have the brush. This brush has been sitting on top of my vanity for a long time. Now let me just put it back in its place. Guys, this Naked Honey palette is definitely worth owning. Trust me on this. You can interchange this with other colorful palettes. Use this as your base, as your foundation, and then bring in some reds and oranges and blues and greens. But trust me, this palette is definitely a must-have for any makeup lover. Next up is a palette I need to reach for more often than what I have been. And I'm talking about Primrose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette was released, I think it was in September or October of 2021. You get two blush shades and then you get 10 eyeshadow shades. Now in my video where I was creating a couple looks with this, I did use the blushes as eyeshadows and you can do that. There is no problem whatsoever. But I was particularly blown away by this palette. I at first wasn't going to order it just because it's you know a neutral palette and you guys know I like a lot of fun you know colorful makeup looks but I went ahead and I got it and I'm so happy that I have it. This could be the best ABH palette that I own next to the Norvina palettes. The larger Norvina palettes I love those. I think those are fantastic but out of all of the ABH palettes that I have that are kind of like the shape and the size this is a really good one. The formula on this is really great. I love that you get the two blushes. It's just a very versatile palette. You can dress this up or dress it down, but this is a good one. If you're able to pick this up, highly recommend that you do. I love the packaging on it as well. I wish they all came like this instead of like that velvet packaging or like all glitter packaging. I like this. I liked everything about this palette. It's definitely an amazing one from ABH. Next up we have Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. I love this one. I love this one because we have warm and cool tone shades in here. I know a lot of you, you love your cool tone neutral eyeshadow palettes, just cool tone eyeshadows in general. And I like that Manny gave us some options here. We definitely have warm tones up here. And then we have our cool tone row at the bottom with the grays and the blues. We have this matte black and it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but this is a gorgeous shade. Don't be afraid of that shade. It is really, really beautiful. These shimmer shades in particular, this one right here amazing it's an amazing palette he has a really good formula I have never been disappointed with anything that I've gotten from Lunar Beauty if Lunar Beauty is anything it is consistent they keep releasing amazing products they just perform so well like this is a very consistent brand and they don't over release items like they release you know with the season or with the holiday but they're spaced out perfectly to where we don't get overwhelmed with lunar beauty releases i like that i think manny is taking this brand in a really good direction and i'm just so anxious because i know he has something else planned for us really soon and i can't wait to see what it is if you're wanting to try something from lunar beauty and maybe you think some of the other palettes are just a little too red or pink or purple leaning Try this one. I don't think you'd be disappointed with this at all. Next, I have a palette that I know a lot of you, you love. You have been seeing it out in several stores and you pick it up whenever you see it. I'm talking about the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palette, specifically the Sugar Cone. This palette is amazing. I love this palette. I love the four mattes, the four shimmer shades, perfection. The formula is just what we have come to know and love from, from BH Cosmetics. I've always loved BH Cosmetics shimmers. For the most part, they get it right. Sometimes they don't always get it right. 
But for this palette and this whole collection, this whole series, man, did they get it right. This was such a big hit for them in 2020. They re-released it in 2021. Unfortunately, I think, you know, if you have it, hold on to it. I don't think we'll ever be seeing this again. A lot of you have said you've been seeing these palettes pop up in uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross. Grab them, hold on to them, whichever palettes appeal to you. Because who knows what's going to happen now with BH Cosmetics. Even if they are able to recover um, are they still going to be the same? Is their formula still going to stay the same? Um, I don't know. I'm praying for them. I'm still holding out hope that they can figure everything out. But hold on tight to your favorite Beige Cosmetics palettes because we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're praying for them. Okay guys, two palettes left. Next on my list is a large palette. And some of you are going to say, Steph, that doesn't look like a neutral to me. Trust me, it is a neutral. And I'm talking about Be Perfect Carnival for the Antidote palette. Guys, this is a neutral palette. This is definitely a neutral palette. When you compare it to Carnival 3, okay, that was the rainbow. This is definitely more warm toned. I mean, you have like your red, rusty tone shades right here. You have some pinks right here in the center. You got some neutrals right here, some gold, and then green. Green is a neutral. My goodness, I love this palette so, so much. So many beautiful, amazing shades that perform so well. I've done, I think I did, did I do five looks with this palette or six looks? I don't know, I don't remember. I've had such a fun time with these Carnival palettes. This is the second one I picked up and I just got the new Be Perfect Chroma uh, foundation and concealer in. So you guys should be seeing uh, that two day wear test go up uh, maybe a day or two after you're watching this video. So be on the lookout for that. But I've just really come to love and enjoy Be Perfect Cosmetics. Now you can buy Be Perfect Cosmetics from their website or you can buy Be Perfect on the Beauty Bay website. I've ordered from both. No problems or no issues there. But this palette, guys, I know it's a large palette. A lot of you get intimidated with a palette of this size. But I think because we have more neutral leaning shades in here, I'm hoping that it doesn't intimidate a lot of you. And if you were wanting to try Be Perfect Cosmetics, but if you thought that the previous Carnival palettes were just way too much color for you, this one right here, the Antidote palette is a must have. All right guys, one palette left and it is the one that I currently have on my eyes. Can you guess which one do you think it is? It's an indie brand, it's an indie brand. Glam Light Chocolate Martini Eyeshadow Palette. Ugh, guys, have you seen what's coming from Glam Light for Valentine's Day? Very excited for those Hershey Kisses palettes, but this one is a keeper. This is a winner. This is such a beautiful 15 pan eyeshadow palette. I believe it is still in stock on the Glamlight website. This little pop of like blue purple is so special and so much fun. It almost makes you feel like you're not using a neutral palette when you pop that on the center of your eyes or all over the lid. It's just beautiful and this is what I have on today and I'm going to show you how I created this look using only this eyeshadow palette. I have had nothing but good experiences with the entire Happy Hour collection. I think each palette retails for $30 or $35 but you can most definitely use a discount code. I don't have one unfortunately but I'm sure some of your other favorite YouTubers have one that you can use. This is beautiful. If you're wanting to try Glam Light, maybe you've never tried them before and you see they are also a very colorful makeup brand. This is not so colorful. This is definitely neutral for them. Start here. If this is more your speed, if these are more the tones that you gravitate towards, something that you can wear on an everyday basis, wear it to work, right here. This is beautiful. You get a mirror and chocolate martinis dessert right here. All right, guys, let me show you this quick tutorial on how I got this look using the Glam Light Chocolate Martini Palette, and then I will wrap up today's video.
the top 10 best neutral eyeshadow palettes currently in my stash. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Did some of your favorites make it onto my top 10 list? What did I leave out that's on your list? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!